you know that music industry for years, a lot of people talked about how brothers get involved in these 360 deals or how all this, you know, bussy brigade be going on and getting people caught up. Now, there was a video uh, released by uh, Math Hoffa on YouTube, and um, they talk, it's going to talk about, you know, Nims is smart, actually, but smart, him. He's going to talk about what really be going on at them record labels and how the setup is or how they try to get a dude's bussy. I want you to hear exactly how he explained it and why any of you that could be a rapper right now that could be watching, please pay attention to this video. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. The sinister evil that happens in that music industry. You wonder why artists start off so good and end up being drugged out. For example, great sister, Whitney Houston, beautiful voice. I mean, great, great, you know, sister, you know, just seeing her face off. And everybody say that, how did Whitney get on drugs? That industry, you understand what I'm saying? You look at people like Amy Winehouse, you know, oh, look what happened to her. It's that industry. Everyone knows that. The industry get people killed. The industry get people doing some things they would have never have done before. Now you heard the brother say it. They first try to start testing you, you know, with different people like stylists or whatever, trying to get to see if you will go along, you know, with being rubbed on, fondled or whatever as a man, trying to see if you the one that's good, they can go it on and, and, and promote. Now he's talking about it on the male aspect. The, the women aspect, you know, is even worse. You understand what I'm saying? Because the women go through it too. Some women, for instance, like Maya, name one, she didn't go along with all that. She didn't want to be a belly warmer for all these dudes. And they called her difficult to work with. Not because she was just a bad person. It's because Maya didn't want to be a belly warmer for any old dude out there in the music industry for all these execs. And, it, and so now you put a bad name on her, right? Most of these people that come up in this music industry, I say not all, but most, they gonna put them through something like that. So you heard this brother say it, that you can't even get to certain levels without going through a vetting process of them trying to get at you. Now you heard the story he talked about, like basically if you wasn't, you know, certified, you wasn't from the streets, you didn't know not to, touch no drinks like that or just smoke anything that somebody give you. And you heard what he said about, you know, a cat that he didn't want to mention the name that they, you know, basically drugged and they basically, you know, the R word, I'm not going to say it on here because it gets your video, uh, uh, demonetized. They, they, they gang R word, this dude want him in a 360 deal and showed him the video. Just another reason why a lot of your quote unquote celebrities, don't speak out and say a whole lot of things either about the industry or calling people out because they got a lot of tapes on them like that. Some, some embarrassing they use. And let me tell you something, the majority of the people controlling all of this is them folks. Now, if y'all want to get into a particular religion, I'm not going there cause you know, we got to watch it here on YouTube. So I'm just going to say them folks, them folks own all that control, all that and push all that field. You heard the brother say that, they try to get the people that got influence to push all that filth. Get to the little, your little young brother, the little young sister. Understand? And so the saving grace for, for your soul, after you hearing this brother say, this brother say he was in G unit and they were trying to pull it there. Now, he didn't say 50 did that, but he said all these little cats that be in, involved in, in, in the music industry, trying to see if you're going to allow them to run up your bussy. Now he talked about sauce Walker in that, in that piece too. sauce Walker right here in Houston and sauce Walker said he never was signed because he didn't want them messing with him like that. Sauce Walker got his own money. You don't need them folks no more because if you go to them folks and trying to get a deal. You can't t listen. That dude been through it. He, he's telling you what it is. You're not going to be somebody special where they're not going to fool with you like that. And yeah, if you don't go along with it, you remember that story? Well, what's, what's that? Uh, uh, they, would, they would say allegedly, uh, I think, um, who talked about that? Jaguar Wright saying a lawyer, a female lawyer told her 
that allegedly, I say allegedly, uh, Puffy had uh, one of his artists, you know, jawboning him in his office, and he didn't even make him stop because he wanted that power over him and say, well, if he wanted this record deal, that's what he got to do. And for any man that's willing to do that to another man for a record deal, you ain't a man whatsoever. And them tendencies are already in you anyway, because nobody really can't make you do something. Now somebody drugging you and doing that to you, that's totally different. But think about it as a man, you, you get drugged. You don't know what happened or whatever. And then somebody, you heard dudes say that while they doing that, they recording this mess. I mean, these are some sick, evil bastards, man. And this is the music industry y'all, some of y'all want to get involved with. You do better staying independent. You don't need them no more. You got the internet. Like my cousin, he's independent and he travels all over the place doing his music and he's not on nobody record deal. He went to Turkey and, and went and done shows out there. You don't need anybody. So if my cousin can do it. Other, other brothers and sisters can do it. Like, why can't you? If, if you're talented enough, the thing is, if you hot enough, you're going to get on. Your music is always going to be, you don't need the label no more. You got YouTube, you got, uh, you know, distribution out there. You, you can put all your, like a CD, ba what is it? CD baby, a distro kid or whatever. And they put all your stuff all over the place. And if you hot, you're going to get on. I never, never, never uh, advise any talent to sign with a record label because you're signing with the devil. You look at Cardi B and all them, you know, Cardi B, see that grimy world was cool for Cardi B because that's what she come from. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying so she, she, she's perfect for that world. You know, Megan the stallion, all of them, they, they, you know, Megan, the thing is Megan is college educated, but yet she wants, she got into that world and you call it what it is. You know, women got to go through all that mess too. Had to let this one sleep with them. This producer sleep with them. This executive sleep with them. If they want to get on. That's the sad part with the whole situation. Now, ain't no industry I want to get involved with. I, man, forget that. You need to be your own man and your own woman and create your own record labels, your own whatever. Don't let these folks get you like that. And then they use you to try to put music out that's going to either sexualize your people or encourage you and others to, to kill black folk. They never want to encourage you to put out nothing good just so they can make some money off you. But you know what? Like I say, this is the day that independence, you know, is out there. The gatekeepers, the only gatekeepers now that kind of affect you is the ones that own the social media companies. That That's the new gatekeepers now. Um, you know, the YouTubes, the Facebooks, you know, the Spotify, the, all the, the ones who run the platforms now are the gatekeepers. But you know what? I always tell people, create your own websites. Y'all got to start doing that. Even you music artists, create your own websites and start putting your music on your websites too. That way, when they try to pull your music for whatever reason, because you offended somebody, hey man, my website right here. Do not have a popularity and don't have a website. How are you going to be one of the biggest, hottest artists and don't have a website? That's silly. Don't be putting everything on no freaking Instagram. You don't own that. Ownership is key. One of the brothers I respect the most out of this whole game, Master P. Master P did it right. And that's why Master P still got money. You never heard no stories like that about Master P. Every person, every artist that went through Master P, they had nothing but good to say about P. I'm saying that's the dude y'all need to be looking up to when it comes to this music. But all these, the rest of them, Nah, man. Nah, that's that's some sick old crap. What this dude was talking about. Sick old. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about, you know, this particular story. And, and the one thing, you know, just thought about, you know, when they talk about LGBT, they don't talk about the predatory LGBT that be going on and and, and all of the, the uh, R words that be going on, the, the, these people that's LGBT. They never talk about that. You notice that? 